Welcome to Innovation. Today we are going to look at doing some animation with our cat and getting our cat or our character, whatever you choose, to move around the screen. So I'm going to click sign in and use my username and password. If I forgot my username and password, I can click on need help, put in the email address I used to set up the account, or put in my username and click send me the password reset link and I can reset the password. So let me sign in here. I can know that I'm signed in because it has my picture up here and my username. So I always want to make sure I see that. Then I'm going to click on create and we're going to create a new project. So I'm going to start with my cat and then I'm going to find a backdrop that I want my cat to be performing on. So I'm going to use this choose a backdrop search icon and it will find a backdrop for me. So how about I put my cat in space? I like that idea. Then I'm going to click on events and get when green flag clicked because this is usually the event that starts everything. We should have an event when green flag clicked. And we went over this in last episode, but we want to make sure that our character has a rotation style of left, right. So I'm going to click on the motion, which is this blue circle up here and scroll down till I see set rotation style left, right. And I drag that and connect that to when green flag clicked. Next thing I want to do is set up another event. And this time it's going to be triggered on a key that I press a keyboard key. And I'm actually going to do four of them. So one, two, three, four. And again, I'm getting that from the event circle. And I'm going to change it to these letters. I'm going to use the letter A. I'm going to use the letter D. I'm going to use the letter W way down here. And then I'm going to use the letter X. So these letters <clears throat> are letters on the keyboard that typically are used to control things in video games. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get the cat to point in the correct direction when I press the A and the D key. So I'm going to go to motion and I'm going to get the point in direction block. And when I press the A key, I want the cat to point to the left. So I move my arrow to the left. When I press the D key, I want my cat to point to the right and I can see that it already is pointed to the right. Next thing I want to do is get my cat to get to move its feet. If I click on costumes, I can see that the cat has two different costumes. When I flip back and forth between the two different costumes, it looks like the cat is moving. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to create another kind of event. It requires two blocks, a broadcast block, and when I receive message block. So I'm going to create a new message. So I'm going to click on this message block here and type in a new message by clicking new message. And the new message I'm going to type in is animate. You can use any word you want, but I'm going to type animate, A-N-I-M-A-T-E. And I'm going to connect the animate to when A is pressed. Next thing I'm going to do is build something here that will animate my cat. So I have to make sure when I select when I receive animate is chosen from the drop down box. Then I'm going to put in a little repeat loop because I want to do this a couple times and the cat has four costumes so excuse me two costumes so I want to do this four times 
I want to go to my looks and get the cat to go to the next costume. Now, when I do this, because the computer works really, really fast, it's going to move so fast, I won't see the animation happen. So I need to slow it down a little bit. So I'm going to go in and put in control, which is right here, which is where I found the repeat loop under control, which is the one, two, three, four, fifth circle down. It says control. It's kind of RNG. And I'm going to put in a weight after the next costume. I'm going to set that to 0.1 seconds. So let's see if when I press the A key, the cat turns to the left and moves his feet. Green flag first. And look at that. Every time I press the A, he turns to the left and moves his feet. So now I'm going to do the same thing with D. I want to animate that. Fortunately, I don't have to recreate all this block down here. I already created it. All I have to do is use another broadcast. So again, I'm going to go to events, find a broadcast message, and broadcast animate. So now when I press to the right, he moves his feet. He doesn't actually move though. We're going to have to fix that. I'm going to do the same thing with W and X, but they're going up and down, so I don't really need to change the direction the cat is facing. I'm just going to broadcast the animate message. Broadcast animate. Broadcast animate. So whenever I press any of these buttons, the cat does his little dance. If I'm pressing A and D, he's switching directions, looking to the left or the right. Next step is to get the cat to move. So I'm going to go to motion and I'm going to change the X value and the Y value. So I want to find a block that says change X by and then a block that says change Y by. So I'm going to use the change X by when the X key, when the A key is pressed and I want it to go backwards. So I'm going to put in a minus sign. And on a number line, the minus sign means go to the left. I want to make the D go to the right. So I'm going to use a positive sign. Now you could use 10 and negative 10, or you could use a different size number if you want to make them move further, or smaller number if you want to make them move slower. Then for the W and X buttons, I'm going to use the change Y by 10 and that it will make it go up and then the change Y by negative 10 to make it go down. Now I'd make these all this, you know, the same value 10s. I wouldn't make one a 10 and one a five and one a two because the cat will move weird. So let's see what we have now and see if we can get our cat to move. Green flag. I'm pressing the A key. Oh, and he moves to the left. The D key, and he moves to the right. I press the W key, and he goes up. And I press the X key, and he goes down. So there we have our cat animated to move all across the screen. Now that we have our project done, the next thing we should do is make sure we title it. So I'm going to call it Walking Space cat. Then <clears throat> I have to make sure I share my project, which is this orange button up here. I want to make sure I press the share button. It's very important. Now the project is shared and I can see that it's shared with other people. I can type some instructions. Press green flag to start. Use W to go up, X to go down, A to go left, and D to go right. And I could say how I made this project. I made this for innovation. 
and then I'm ready to share it. Remember how we share it? We click on copy link and then click on copy link and then we can paste it in an email or paste it in some kind of Canvas assignment or in Seesaw, wherever your teacher tells you to post it. So look for your assignment. That's all. Have a great day. Bye for now.